Today we're going to talk about combining the sort function with the filter function so that we can both extract a subset of data and at the same time sort that data based on criteria we specify. So in this example here we have payment history for some accounts and the first thing we're going to do is insert a simple one criteria filter function and shortly after I'll insert a sort function on top of that filter function. So we'll begin with the filter. Our array is just going to be our entire set of data. I'll hit F4 to lock that down. This next argument include is our criteria. Well let's just say we wanted to filter on anything that had a payment method of wire. So our criteria for the include argument is going to be the column we want to filter on. We'll hit F4 to lock that down and then we're going to say equals to our criteria. Well our criteria is wire. This last argument is the value if nothing is found. Well if nothing is found we just want it to return nothing so we'll enter double quotes. So you can see this pulls back anything that was a wire in our data set. So you can see now this is currently sorted by the original list sort which was sorted by date. What if we wanted to sort this by account number? Well we can hit F2 to go back into our formula. We're going to insert a sort on top of that. Our array is already there. It is the what we have currently with the filter function. So we have our first argument. Our sort index is the column we want to sort on. So we want to sort on the account number, which is the second column. So that will be two. The sort order, we have two options, ascending, descending. We want ascending. And finally, do we want to sort on, you know, sort by a column or a row. We want to sort by row. So you can enter false or zero for false. So you can see now this is sorted by the account number. Hey, if you like what you saw today, please subscribe to the Excel Cave. Thanks for watching.